Hello everybody! Welcome to my new let's play playing on Total War Warhammer 2 on Immortal Empires almost said Immortal Empires there uh, because I'm waiting for Immortal Emp Empires for uh, Warhammer 3 so in the meantime I was thinking why not play a Scrum the Punch uh, my favorite race the Greenskins or at least one of my favorite races and Grom the Punch is the most fun out of all of the legendary lords for the Greenskins mainly because of his um, faction mechanics like the cauldron and stuff the other ones doesn't really have anything particularly fun because they're all from Warhammer 1 actually uh, so yeah I'm going to play as Grom the Punch and I'm gonna try to do a full map completion if we can make it before Mortal, uh, Immortal Empires comes out so the faction effect is that he has access to Grom's Cauldron, which is pretty damn good. And suitable climate, temperate island, diplomatic relations minus 80 to high elves. So that means you're gonna get freaking... Or the high elves are gonna steam line for you, since you're pretty close to them, you know. Here is the high elves, here is where we start, so yeah. His was has a chance to contain pump wagons, that's meh. And this is pretty good. Global recruitment duration minus one turn for goblin units. That means you can, from the very beginning, uh, take global recruitment for goblins, and it will only take one turn. So that's gonna help you a lot, actually, if you utilize it correctly. And his lord's effects are leadership plus ten when fighting against elves. Lord's army, pretty okay. Physical resistance for goblin units. That's pretty good. And upkeep minus fifty percent for chariot and pump wagon units. That's okay, pump wagons are pretty okay. Depends very much what you're going up against. And of course, Grom himself has regeneration, which is awesome. He is a very good le uh, legendary lord for fighting and for um, commanding. And his army ability, Grom's War, replaces regular War. That's okay, it gives uh, healing. So you start with a snuttling pump wagons with spiky rollers. They got armor piercing and uh, centered armor which is pretty good and he starts with river trolls and stone trolls stone trolls are very good in melee river trolls are okay they're more like a defend or a utility troll i guess because they reduce melee attack of enemies around and of course legendary campaign very hard battle difficulty which is the hardest and the chaos invasion which is also a legendary so without further ado let's get into it Having grown weary of binge banketting and lazing about on his spoil heaps, the massive lump of Gobbo known as Grom the Paunch dreams of conquest once more. The lands of men have not been spared, the Goblin King's recently reignited ambitions for his ruination. And now he finds himself at Massive Orgal, a low-lying mountain range in the heart of Petonia previously dominated by orcs. Having slew every rival boss in the area, he prepares to cast his gluttonous attentions Unto the wider world. I do miss a little bit more of these concept arts. I know there are mods for them, but I'm not really huge on using mods. But yeah, I would. I do wish CA makes more of these like wallpaper uh, graphics for uh, loading screens and so on, because they do have the potential to make really good, you know, animations and arts and stuff. So I hope they do take a little time and resources into doing that uh, when <laughs> when Warhammer 3 is in a stable position, I suppose. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna let the person talk. Grom the Paunch, O ye of the mighty gut, greatest of all goblins, your war burgeons once more. But the boys' morale is low, and they will need reinvigorating. Fighting the pretentious Britonians will likely improve their mood. Their lands surround you, but like all men of the old world, they are weak and will easily fall to your horde. Your real trophy lies across the ocean. Where in the great city of Tor Ivres, the Grim Warden undoubtedly awaits your return. When you are ready, make the crossing 
and show him that you will not be bested again. The High Elves may have driven you from Uthwan's shores before, but you are not defeated. Your momentum gathers, mighty Goblin King. Soon, you shall become an unstoppable force once again. Hey, yeah. So how they play? Broken Axe, Grom's Cauldron, Grom's insatiable appetite for culinary delights is legendary. Strange and exotic ingredients can be collected for his cauldron by completing certain actions throughout your campaign, such as winning battles, sacking settlements, exploring the seas, or purchasing them from the food merchant. Combining ingredients in Grom's Cauldron can result in powerful recipes with a variety of benefits for the tribe that last for a number of turns. Yes, 15 turns. Uh, Wa, that's the same for every green skin. A Wa is an unstoppable force that can be unleashed once your faction receives or gains sufficient reputation through winning battles and raising settlements. Once a call to Wa is targeted against an enemy, additional mobs will flock to your armies for a period of time as your lord's Wa battle abilities are temporarily boosted. Raising the enemy's capital within the allotted time or occupying it when the Wa ends will grant a trophy and rewards in addition to building momentum towards the next call to war. Scrap, greenskins know how no, know not to waste good battle salvage, actively gathering any bits of scrap they find after battle or racing settlements. Scrap can be used to upgrade and improve the boys' armaments, research technologies or fuel Grom's cauldron. And the underway, greenskins can sneak through the underway to travel beneath otherwise impassable terrain Doing so is not without risk, however, as greenskin armies can be intercepted by armies above and brought to battle, even by races that cannot use the underway themselves. So the first miss mission is to occupy loot, race or sag for different settlements. And we start with a hag. Let's see what we get. Ah, cunning, that's okay. So let's embed her. Here. And Here. let's kill this guy. So you can auto resolve it to get a perfect victory, and you will lose one goblin. And as you can see, all the goblins have 10% physical resistance. Um, yeah. And this guy has some field trebuchets, mounted yeomen, some archers, pretty much just crap, honestly. So let's fight it. And let me show you how you can use Grom to basically single-handedly deal with this army. Because he is on a chariot. So infantry is... What should I say? Like... Uh, using a knife to cut through butter. Pretty much. A hot knife. Alright, so we want to hide our other troops so that the enemy can't see them. There we go. And we will use this guy. I like to use control groups just because then I can press uh, one like that and just get zoom to him. So let's go and take out the field trebuchets right away. Yeah, using control groups is a personal choice, if it helps or not. I know Legends of the War doesn't really like them. Uh, I like them, especially on Legendary mode, because of the restricted camera. So I can easily just press 1, 2, 3 or whatever to switch between um, my units. Let's just fast forward a bit so this battle doesn't take forever. So, yeah, cavalry can be a little bit dangerous, but not unless you keep moving. That's the most important thing when you have a chariot, don't get bogged down. Don't get bogged down, that's the most important thing. And especially with Grom, because he has regeneration. So as long as you keep moving, 
And don't take too much damage. You are going to be completely a-okay. And as you can see, I'm doing a lot of damage to these guys just by running into them. I'm getting a little bit bugged down. So that's why you want to try to separate them or, uh, you know, not make them clump up too much. And getting perfect vigor is gonna help so, so much later on. out those field trebuchets oh my god imagine if i had some uh, magic here like fire or flame storm or whatever okay gotta be careful i'm not unbreakable so if they surround me i can get uh, broken that would be very very bad The reason I'm not doing uh, attack uh, orders for the cap is because since I am on a chariot I will do damage when running through enemies. So as long as they like gather around me, they will take damage. How dare you, good sir! Okay, I need to... Regenerate. Come on, kill this last one. Hur! Hodish! Hada! Hada! Making my own sound effects. And of course, going downhill will create more momentum. There we go. Okay, now I'm just gonna see since this guy is exhausted. I'm gonna put him over here and just let him rest a little bit can of course use Spirit Leech, <coughs> but since I uh, don't have any more points in it, I can't overcast it. And 100 meters, that's only from like here to there, so I don't want to expose this guy. He also has regeneration. Or is it a shield? Or is it a I don't know. But yeah, the, ha the wizard hags are very vulnerable actually. Look at the melee attack and melee defense. And pretty much no armor either. So they are very vulnerable. As you can see here, my guy is regenerating. I'm almost out of uh, <coughs> health points. Or, re yeah, you know, health points that can regenerate. As you can see, it's closing down to zero. May actually. Will barely go up to the full amount. Okay, he's fresh again. Let's go kill some peasants. Peasant mob. Great. And one good thing about uh, units having regeneration, or if you have like a portion of healing. If you uh, increase in grasp, yeah. if you do take a more damage than you can heal in one battle, uh, try to make the army like survive just barely, so you can go in and physically fight it or manually fight it again, so you can regen up to full HP. That is one good tip. So there are. There are certain differences, or many differences, between Total War Warhammer and the regular historical Total Wars. So if you're one of those people that have only played the historical Total Wars, it can take some adjustments to getting used to Warhammer. I remember when Warhammer 1 firstly, or first came out, I tried playing as the Dwarves, because it said that initial... Uh, like, yeah their playstyle was easy, but holy crap, I struggled even on normal difficulty for like the first, I don't know, 10 hours or something. So don't beat yourself up. I 
could send in my army and do this more quickly, but I'm trying to do this as efficiently as possible. But I can see that Grum is taking up fair fair bit of damage. Taking this out. Okay, come to me. Yes, come to me. Watch my eyes. Come to me. No, come on. Don't go back. I'm right here, buddy. Okay, maybe we should just engage. They're trying to hide in the trees. Cowards. Looking for a scrap. Cowards. Come on, get wrecked. Okay, then that's them shattered. So if you break the same unit three times. Uh, they will shadow, meaning they will come back in that this particular fight. Look how slow he moves when he's exhausted compared to when he's fresh. That's why an ability called Perfect Vigor is very underrated. Oh my god, come on. Oh, push through! Push through, push through, push through. Good boy. Okay, get up there. You can <coughs> get up there. You can, of course, win this by just rushing right at the beginning, but you would probably get the same results as the other so if you that. That's what the computer does when auto resolving. I just pretty much uh, press the attack button. <laughs> Not thinking at all. A little bit forward. And if you're wondering how I move them forward like this, I mark them, press the Alt button on the, key on the keyboard, and like presses with my left mouse button and then just drag them forward. Alright, where are you Mr. Flubby Flip? Castiel. them right. They have terrible leadership, so yeah. As you can see, they will all just run. And there you go. Army loss penalty. Let's run them down, shall we? See if we can get one more spirit leech in. He's on a horse, so he's just gonna outrun us. But come on, come on, keep running, keep running. Yeah, one more. Okay. And fast. Let's 
So yeah, that's how you win this with minimal casualties. Kind of miss um, from Shogun 2, where you get just as many chevrons riding down fleeing enemies as you would in the battle. In uh, Warhammer, you basically doesn't get a you don't get any chevron basically from running down fleeing enemies. You only get chevrons from uh, like taking down enemies in battle while they're still fighting you. Twenty-three losses. I would say that is pretty good. Pretty damn good. Or what do you say, Cassion? Cass. Castiel. Let's see. Ooh. That is tempting, but I don't really need it. So let's go for the money. Their boss better cough up. Yeah, I forget he. Uh, Fine. He automatically dies. And always get the root marcher first. And this guy can. Hmm, this sh this is pretty good, but yeah, I like to go for. Purple Son of Cerus as fast as possible. And here we have Quenels. The Goblin King never loses! Let's see. I like to go for growth immediately. The and we can take In this. One. Again, you can get a Peric victory or you can fight it and get a decisive victory. And this is gonna be way easier because there are no cav and there are no uh, trebuchets or artil artillery. So I can pretty much just use Grom and the uh, snuffling pump wagons. Just need to take care of these guys and then I can send in the rest and just mop the floor with these guys. I will only sack the settlement at first though because Or maybe I won't. Let's see. King of the Gobos! From the boat! And Get again, I'm gonna enemy! hide my guys. We eat better than them! There we go. Help my test ready! Fast forward, zoomies! Damn, he's fast. 84 speed. 60 speed. From the boat! And you can get a lot of charge bonus, like 200 Face charge bonus or something. Smoke! So yeah, Wagon crush! he's very good. Take care of the archers first. We'll come on, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Keep moving, baby. You go after them. Enemy archers, it. they are always in skirmish mode, so you can faint attacks just to get them to stop shooting as well. Off we go. My wheels. Going over now. Yeah, they are isolated. <laughs> Already victory is in our grasp. Come on, pump wagons, go faster. Chariots on its way. Grom's the greatest. Yeah, they're just gonna crush him. Rolling over. Absolutely Come crush on them. Swinging Come on. Run through them. Run I'll through them. Drop the Keep it moving. 
Try not to get shot too heavily. Look at this guy. Ho ho ho! Get wrecked, son. Yeah, go through, go through. Oh, that was a bad engage. A bad engage. Even Spearman. I hate Spearman. I shouldn't have engaged like that. Yeah, these guys doesn't have enough mass to go through a charge spare spare line like that. We're still doing a lot of damage to them though. He's already exhausted. Alright, let's get you over there. Hide. Grom can do this on his own. For a Just go through and through like this. Yeah, they are now hidden. Good. So be careful. Chase him around. These guys are gonna break for the third time. Yep. Don't need to chase them down since uh, there are. But this is a settlement, so all of their units will get wiped out. I right, need to try and get that third archer unit. Come on. Yes. Alright. Time to break this guy again. Come on, break. Good, 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 good. <laughs> a ring around the rosy. Alright, let's break them again. Oh, nice. Working all way. Come on, Grum. Grum. My grummy boy. Keep chasing. What are you doing? What are you doing? You got Slow stuck on something. Alright, let's look at him go. Yeah, he's getting stuck in the freaking trees, man. Bad fuck. <laughs> and the uh, spiky rollers are actually getting stuck on him as well. Oh yeah, look at that. Stand a chance. Alright, we can bring in the rest now. Come on. Shadow them, please. over there and uh, a little tip for uh, some of you that don't already know this uh, in Warhammer the HP of units the health of units is actually um, bound to their entity so for example this unit here they have four entities but I haven't lost any entities yet. That means that they haven't really lost any HP. So if I don't lose any entities, aka if not a single one of these spiky rollers actually die, that means that um, they will get full HP when we get out of the fight. So that's something to keep in mind. Are you gonna come to me or do I have to come to you? Yeah, 
Yeah, they're gonna come to me. Alright, kid. Let's pull back a little bit so that we can fire um, as much as possible. Because they are not visible when they come out. Or when they are in the forest, rather. And let me use my acid attack on these guys. You come over here. Isolate them as much as possible. There we go. There we go. You, we uh, chase them down. And now, all can congregate on this location. Easy PC, lemon squeeze. Victory is mine. Nice. I'm just gonna wait a little bit so that he heals all the way. So trolls also have regeneration, but like I said, their um, their health is bound to their entities. So if one of the entities dies, like if it's only 15 units left, for example then they can't heal uh, their max health unless they have something called horrible regeneration which, which only a few lords can get and only a few units can get but horrible regeneration also revives entities but yeah pretty easy battle 10 losses probably there's just some of these goblins and I'm gonna phase out goblins probably because they don't really do anything. I'm gonna use a lot of goblin archers because they actually do a lot of damage when you upgrade them with scrap and use some of the uh, recipes in, in the cauldron. I'm gonna show you. The king never loses! Decisive victory! Easy. And yeah, I'm just gonna Smash psych it for now. Boys. A new ingredient. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so let's go <laughs> and uh, see. Told you we'd win, boys. I think you start with that one, and we just got this one. So now, let me just see. Do we have that mission? So, you actually want to wait until turn Grom. 2, because you will get a mission that so let me show you that. Okay, we have a skill point. Um, either I recommend going this, and then this, or going straight for Lightning Strike, and Mob Boss, and Renowned and Feared. I think I'm gonna go for the Gobos first. Because we're gonna do quite a bit of fighting. And. Hmm, I think I'm gonna go for life leeching first, so that we can get some extra magic in, in battle. And now we can get some goblin archers in. Uh, the global recruitment only takes one turn. That is pretty awesome. Of course, it's twice the price, but we can afford that. Research available. Go with this one first, so they can get this one. You need this to upgrade um, the goblin archers with scrap. You want to get this one. Heavy ammo. Armor piercing, missile damage, plus 400 berserk. Trust me. It is and, and growth and obedience. So yeah, this is Grum's Cauldron, I'm gonna wait one turn doing that. And Diplomacy, you're not really gonna do any Diplomacy <laughs> with green skins. Uh, we have an aggression pack with them. 
But yeah, we're probably gonna be at war with everyone, so... Don't really bother with that. So that's turn one. Carcassonne. They can be a little annoying because they're also on a war with these guys. So if I just keep sacking this, they might come and take it, and then I can have to take or uh, you know take them on as well. So be careful. See how we go. Quest issued. At the start of your turn, have at least 50 scrap. Reward: black tooth's head in a jar. Summons a rogue idol, which is pretty good. Obtain one of the following. Yep. And I'm just gonna auto resolve this time. Probably gonna lose more than we'll we need to. For Way more than we need to. Grom wants uh, it broken. And another quest: use Grom's cauldron to cook a recipe. Quest successful. Very good. Make sure you equip that right away so you don't forget. Let's give you Doom and Darkness and you Takabos. And what ingredient did we the get? Goblin King never loses. Yeah, green spores, which is pretty good. And did we get the Yeah, gr use Grum's Cauldron to cook a recipe. Yep. So this is pretty good. Fishy shroom burgers. Perfect vigor for Grum. Trust me, that is so good. And fishy breath, so good. I, I'm not joking. Against lightly armored units, especially like infantry, it is super strong. And I'm gonna show you. Leave the veggies out, right? Another quest: interact with the food merchants. Grom does it again. I like it. Yeah, the food merchant. Uh, it's a little bit random, but I think he usually comes after you. Um, or a short time after you <laughs> Told you cook win, win, a recipe, boys. and usually comes close to one of your settlements. That's a little bit random. A little bit random. And look at this, perfect. Now what I can wipe them out and go home. right for Parallel. You guys Not just made it that. easy on me. Close victory. Yeah, I don't think so, bruv. So she has wind blast actually. Careful about that. And she too. Basically the same that uh, Grom has, the fishy breath. Just uh, I think fishy breath is like I don't know, three times stronger. Something like that. But it doesn't really do a lot of arm piercing damage, and it's not very good against cavalry or monsters or something like that. It's really only good against um, infantry, relatively low armored infantry, which you know Britonia has a lot of. So uh, that's why it's super good for Grom in the early game, and it's really good against Skaven too. All right. So you already know what we're gonna do. And we also have this. It only lasts for... Uh, how long? Is it... 5 minutes? No. Oh, it doesn't say here. It only says when you uh, conjure him. I think it's like 2.5 minutes or something like that. But it's still pretty good. And when you have that in conjunction with uh, the purple son of Cyrus, oh boy, yeah, so good because they will all gather around. Let's see if we can take out their lord. Ugh. Why the cat gotta be annoying, bruh? Bruh. All right, at least they're isolated. This should be easy. And they're getting some spells. That's cheating. Bruh, you're cheating. I don't like it.
Bam. Yeah, when you're playing a legendary, you don't get like this uh, mini map thingy. So you gotta be careful. Keep an eye on things. Okay, you wanna fight? Come on then. Fight me, bruv. Are they faster than me? Yeah, they are. Okay, 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 chill, bro. Chill. Okay, you came too close. Yeah, they got wrecked really easy. Let's escort them off the battle pitch, shall we? We're going the wrong way. Yeah, good. Okay, bye. Okay, let's see if we can find the uh, like the main army, I guess. If you want to call it that. If you want to call it an army. Have to be a little bit careful about the amount of yeomen though. They can bog me down and the infantry can like. Off we go! Yeah, Chariots on its way! Looking for a scrap! Rolling over! And uh, yeah, the war that only Bring applies on! or only generates if Off you uh, go into melee. My with, uh, wheels! Like. Uh, the more entities, the faster it will reach uh, or uh, generate war points. So if you only use like lords and heroes, it's gonna generate super slowly. But if you have like a lot of, you know, melee goblins or whatever, or whatever, it's gonna generate pretty fast. This is it. on the All right, can I like get over here and? Use my fishing boat. Stay away, bitch. I'll show you how good it is. Looking for a scrap. Yes. There you go. Bye bye. Oh. Look at that. I don't know how many kills I got because I had some previously, but probably like 150. Give it Kev, stay away from me. They're not really a threat, but they can do some damage. Alright, fine, we'll fight. Let's fight them. Ah oh, crap. Going over now. Oh, there's something more. Here from God. It's time to go and assist my guy. Ah, I feel like this guy is so slow. He has 54 speed and feels like 30 speed. It's just so freaking slow, man. Use that. Alright, you were saying something? You wanna fight? Let's fight then. Oh, now you're running. Get wrecked, kiddo. is more of a lord and hero killing spell but in case of emergency <laughs> use it on the right. dealt with let's make you rounds let's get you over there Never mind, I guess. Let's 
just get rid of their archers. And then focus down their lords. And send in my trolls for them. Yeah, so they lasted for like two minutes or something. I don't know, didn't count. Come on, ground. Off we go! Off to conquer! Push on through. Push on through. Okay, this is not gonna do that much damage. But it did some. Just thought I could show you. Going over now! Off to conquer! <laughs> I like how he did like a reverse, just as if he would do with the car. Yeah, okay, good. That's them routing. Next one on the list. Okay, let's send the rest in. Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. Looking for a scrap. Gonna impress Gog. Boom. Ladies, blessing is off we go. Yeah. Gork and Mork is the gods Rolling of the Grimskins, if you were wondering why he said uh, gonna make Gork proud. Chariots on its way! Going over now! Alright, yeah, kill him! And bye bye. Oh my god, it's taking a lot of damage. Let's see if I can kill the uh, lords. Or maybe... I think they were on force march, so... They'll get killed out of the I think. Whatever. You get more loot money if you kill lords in battle. So say bye bye to you. Stone trolls are on the same speed. And let's fast forward. Come on, give me some more magic. One power per minute, basically. There are some things I like more about the new Winds of Magic system that's in Warhammer 3. And there are some that I like more with the. Um, System there in Warhammer 2. I don't really like how it's confined to maximum 100 in Warhammer 3, but I do like that you can have up to 100 at uh, like at the same time, you know, because here it's only max 30. So in um, in Warhammer 3, if you see like some really good opportunities, you can just hammer down with all the best spells and just you know really maximize and uh, profit. But here you have to like use one spell and then you have to wait for it to fill up back to like 30 so you don't actually lose out on more recharge speed and uh, stuff like that. Of course there are more opportunities to cheese the Winds of Magic here in Warhammer 2. So uh, I do know some people love to cheese. But yeah. The only thing I really want for the new Winds of Magic so is that it, it doesn't cap at 100. It should be uh, able to uh, go over that. Especially when you have factions like Thinch and... Uh, this is Grom's place now. Those that are supposed to be really good at magic, you know? Alright, nice. Next level, more ammunition, missile strength, melee attack, melee defense. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Let's get more archers. Do I need 
three more? No, I don't think so. And what do we get in here? I think I'm just gonna build that. And yeah, one thing you can do, but of course it costs 50 scrap every time you use a recipe. But this using this will give you 2k, uh, 2k gold. So that's something you can use. And also this will give you five reputation. So if you have a lot of scrap, you can do this once every one, like once every turn, to get 2k and to get five reputation. Uh, so you get to a war really fast. But of course, it costs 50 scrap every time you do it. So is it worth it? Kind of have to decide on that yourself. It's a trade-off, because scrap is pretty important, actually. Yeah, Carcassonne, they don't like me. <laughs> I hope they don't declare war on me just yet. And there is the Hag Merchant. I don't have any heroes. I don't want to detach this guy. So I'm just gonna wait with that. Can I reach? Oh, I don't think I can actually. Just barely. Okay. The immensity! Yeah. Let's go into reading mode. Get some extra cash. I am a lord of Bretonia. Never. Hmm. They don't have a lot. The Goblin King. Let's get that one. I must He's keep my probably vow. going to no. recruit some mounted yeomen or some stuff like that. Because this is his first time recruiting, and I think Knight's Errands take two me. turns to recruit. So even if he could recruit those, I would, uh, I wouldn't give him the option or the opportunity to. So I think we should be fine with this army size. Yeah. Ooh, knowledgeable. Actually, let's do that and um, go there, and I'll just uh, disband him afterwards. Let's sh knowledgeable, so that I know he has that trait. Because yeah, that's one way to cheese the magic system here in Warhammer 2. You can just recruit these lords and then disband them, uh, and. Um, That is pretty nice. The traits in Warhammer 3 isn't that good. Alright, let's see what we get. Nice. Okay, so we can get lion meat. You have to pay 1000 for every ingredient that um, you want to buy from this hag. Or you can do a cooking challenge, which will uh, open up another ingredient slot. And you do want to get all four ingredient slots. That is pretty important. You can let the hag cook for you, which I don't really recommend. Or you can rub her it, whatever, <laughs> and get 50 scrap and 500 gold. Lion meat is not really a great ingredient, if you ask me. And you're going to get it while fighting the High Elves anyways. So I don't really want to waste a thousand gold on that. Uh, I'm gonna go for Cook for the Hag. Okay, so me wants a dish what got big bones in so I can pick my teeth after. Fish bones by themselves too weak. No pizzas. Alright. 
I gotta remember which one that is. Um, Go to conquer the world. Let's see. I think it's this one, yellow and green. I don't have yellow and green. So gotta just wait. Faster than any. Oh my god, he recruited six that global uh, recruitment, huh? Yeah, that's cheating, bro. But we can still win this. But we're gonna do it in the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed and follow me for more tips and tricks on how to play Grom and Greenskins in general. Uh, I'm, I don't really want to boast, but I feel like I'm very good on green skins since they're one of my most played ways. So please, please, uh, please leave a like and comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all next time. Hope you guys enjoyed and have a great day. Goodbye.